nowadays though. But yeah, I know. I, I wanted to ask, could it be how maybe we communicate? Because I'm not gonna lie, sometimes women we don't really communicate the best way. We don't. So could it be how? And I'll be honest, because I'm I'm a woman. Not I'll be honest. We don't always communicate the best way. So could it be how maybe we're communicating? You know what we want, and we're not asking the right questions. And maybe that's why when he's giving us a response, it's like, okay, well, I'm just going to take it as that's what he's saying. But we didn't ask the right question. So we're not really understanding. We're thinking, okay, we didn't ask him exactly what he's expecting in a wife or a partner or whatever. We're not asking it effectively. Could that be part of it? Maybe it's how we communicate. But Ms. Nahe, do they even know what they want, though? And and I, I want to flip this on the, on, the head, on the head of this because it's talking about do women really want what they're asking for? But do men even know what they want? And a lot of men don't, and that's okay. But that has to be stable. Men want sex. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let Asia finish that. Asia, go ahead, finish your thought. I think a lot of men don't know what they want because they feel they have to. A lot of them put up a, a false bravado, and they feel that they have to act and say a certain thing. I want this when they really don't necessarily want it but they feel that they have to put on this facade. And so what they really, really want, they may not feel comfortable or secure within themselves or within their relationship to say what they really want and whatever that is. And so when they don't know how to get in touch with what they really want, they can articulate. So we can ask all the right questions, but when they have the representative in place, they get the representative answer. And then when we expect that representative to continue through, that's when we have a problem. It's like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> when I asked you, you said, oh, it's, it's all good, girl. You ain't got to cook every day. You, I just, I just love you. I just want to be with you. That's your representative because you just want to make sure you're securing her and locking and locking her down. It ain't about us locking y'all down. Y'all want to lock us down too. Let's be real. Well, <laughs> well, Asia, so, to that, to um, that point, Asia, men do want to lock women down. So you're not going to get the whole truth and women don't really want the truth, right? So even with the right question asked, if I answer it the right way and correctly and honestly, it may be something that turns you away. So am I supposed to let you go let, about being truthful? Yeah. Let go. Let let me go because you better be Not reality though. <laughs> come out, but the truth will come out anyway, and that's why disagreements and arguments and 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 um, disagreements happen. Mm -hmm. People the the relationship breaks down because the truth, y'all ain't ready for the truth. Don't tell me what I'm ready for. And that's the problem. I can't tell you as a grown man what you're ready for. So I'm gonna give it to you, which you asked where you ask me a question, I'm gonna answer it. In the same way, treat a woman as a grown adult like you are. Tell me what the truth is because it's gonna come out anyway. And when, if you give me a lie and then the truth does come out, we gonna have a problem. Okay, so I, I, I disagree completely with what you're saying. I feel like men me or, know me or Sean? you. Oh, so okay. um, I feel like men know exactly what we want. The only time we possibly won't be fully honest with you is if we just trying to sleep with you. You know what I'm saying? But if we're looking at really being with you and building with you, we have no problem with articulating that. <laughs> I think the issue is that men don't understand the role that we need to play once we become monogamous in order to get those things right now that's a totally different thing you can't move the same way you move when you're single because when you're single like hamp was saying you can get cheeks any day you don't have to put in no effort but now that you're in a monogamous relationship if you want a woman who can who's going to cook for you who's going to take care of the home she still has a lot of other things going on so that's going to require you playing a lot of work are you doing a lot of different things? You being attentive to her so that she can give you what you need. And I think men don't understand that part comes with, you know, the um, being in the relationship piece. So it's not that we don't want it. We just don't know. Like, yo, it's a lot of work that goes into making sure a woman is, you know, in the place to where she wants to have sex with you. She wants to cook for you. She wants to, you know, take care of your home. You're a very evolved um, A+. Plus. I think your name is Adrian. You're very evolved. Right. I've been getting that all my life. I appreciate it. You know what I mean? and, but but the, the whole monolith statement that was stated 10 minutes ago, you just dispelled that. So thank you. I said we're not I, a monolith. No, I, I didn't. How did no, I you, do that? You didn't, no, you didn't say monolith. Basically, it was the statement was men basically want the same thing, right? Did, John, did, did the men not just say that earlier? Men we basically do, want though. Okay, so what I'm saying is, at the same exact time, 
you kind of don't because you kind of dispel that by saying, you know, I because she sat there and said, I, I don't want to give you the truth, women. I don't want to give women the truth because you may not stay or you may not be ready for it or whatever, right? That's what she no, 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 but but, nah, but hold on, nah, nah. nah. Right, you can take Sean the is talking man about... in the world. He gonna tell you. You could take the lamest man in the world. If you if you sit this man down and ask him what he really want, he gonna tell you what he really want. It's up to you if you accept that shit or not. Dead ass. I agree with you on that. I tell you, Cap, y'all full of shit. But go ahead. What? Go ahead. I think there's yeah. having your wants, and then I think there's also being realistic with those wants. See, and here I go think... Alex. See, see. What you mean, Bob? Because <laughs> you're talking about being realistic. If you guys ask us what we really want, how can I you say it's I not realistic? I want a million dollars, but the reality is, is that I don't have it. That's kind of why I said is how we communicate it. We're saying what we want. Right? <laughs> Going to the, to the woman's point when she was in the video, she was saying, are you ready for that? Are you ready to, you know... I feel like for men and women, are you ready to go ahead and hang your head up and be like, you know what? I'm going to be dedicated. I'm going to be focused. You may want to, but is that is that realistic for you and maybe your lifestyle, right? And I, we're not just talking about the average Joe. I think even with women, like as a wife, I would love to and I want to be able to come home and cook every day for my husband. But is that the reality? No, it's not. But I'm realistic with myself, right? So I think even in the realms of dating and I think on both ends, are you being realistic? And when you're saying to that someone, you're saying to the individual, like, are you okay if... This is what the reality is. I would love to do this for you, but here's the reality of what's really going on. Are you okay with that? Yes or no? Because then when you start it off there, then you are lowering the expectations so that you're not being surprised when someone comes in here and they're giving you, the representative is giving you all of these um, fantasies and fairy tales about, oh, when we get together, it's going to be this and it's going to be that. Reality is, is that some people don't know how to be monogamous. Men and women. That's the reality of it. The reality of it is that people work, right? Men and women. It's not just the man going out, the woman staying at home. The reality is, is that we come home, we're tired. Do I feel like cooking you food today? Yes or no? That's on both ends. The reality is some people got kids. The reality is, and with the kids and the work and everything, you may not get sex every night. You may want to have it every night, but realistically, do you have that energy? Those are the realities of it. So I think when you are looking to be in said relationships, you have to be realistic. Don't have kids. No, communicate that effectively. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you if you communicated in the beginning, oh, so yes, everybody, yes, yes, yes. everybody's on the same page, so both parties should be compliant. If you want sex every day, you feel like kids gonna get in the middle of it. Don't have kids. But that's why I feel like right? on my end, you're right. Like, but I feel that's why I feel like on my end, it's like when it comes when it comes to men, a lot of times men do say a lot of things straightforward that we like to beat around the bush about. Like, a man could be like, you know what, I'm not ready for a relationship. But then a female would think, oh, just because I was fucking with him for six months, maybe he's ready now. And then when he's not, your heart broken, crushed, and crying over something that he keeps telling you, I already said that. Damn. What? Right, but, but hold on, like hold on. So it goes back to do we really want what we're asking for? Because we're asking for all that, and then we're uh, we're allowing that. We're, we're, we're kind of feeding into the don't tell me that answer, but you know, so it's like, hey, like, what are we? Oh, I'm not looking for a relationship right now. Okay, so do you think we'll be together at this time, or do you think that's where all the extra it's questions also acceptance of the response that they gave you? Don't be right. going in there thinking that he's gonna change his mind. He told you what it was. Yes. So don't go yeah, didn't, that, didn't that. I say that though? You that, you so. said that you want a man and you what you want what you want right. in that man, and then he communicates to you, well, yeah, you know it ain't like that, ma. You know what I'm saying? And we like, but though? you love me though. No. Want, want, <laughs> so hold if, hold if you want a man, then don't can I, accept can I that. Say that. Some women hold don't. Can I say you. something? Can I say yeah, something? Can I say? Did I say that already? <laughs> hold on. Can I, let me let me say something. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me say something, and then, hey, then let me, let, hey. and then I'm gonna take over Hamp spot because after I go, I, I want to get Q. I want to hear Q Q's uh, response to this. <laughs> but um, I'll say this too. Um, Asia made a point about representatives. So a lot of times when a man is like, yeah, you don't got to do all of these things every day and I'm good. A lot of times we're saying that to your representative, the you that's still being soft, the you that's still going out your way to make sure that we are good. Because then once we get in that relationship, now all of your outside stresses and things that you're dealing with, now you're bringing that on to me. Right now you're more closed off to me. Now you're not thinking about me anymore. 
So those statements were true when you were moving the way you were initially moving, but now you're moving a totally different way with me. When now you're now relying on me to provide certain things for you that at that moment in time, you didn't need nothing from me because you were just happy to be around me. Now you're looking for me to be a, um, be a part of your happiness. You know what I'm saying? Now when you, you close off, you don't want to talk to me. But before, when I was making those statements of that, you don't got to do anything. Anytime I call you, you dropping whatever you doing for me. You know what I'm saying? So that version of you, yeah, that version of you, that's going to be sweet. That's going to be loving to me, no matter whatever that version of you that's trying to secure the ring. You don't have to do all of those things because you're that version. But a lot of women switch up and they're not no longer that version. And it's understandable, too. Right. Because now that you're. Once you become monogamous, you know, with someone, you try to share more with them and just that whole piece of just growing together, like it brings a lot more. So I think it's more so that that it's a different person that I'm now dealing with or another side of you that I'm seeing now that I'm now committed to you that I didn't see that before when we was just dating and we was just kind of kicking it. Right. You didn't have those same requirements of me when you were trying to get with me or when I was trying to get with you that you now have on me now. You didn't trip about the things that I did then, but now you're tripping about all of those things. So I think that's why it's kind of different. So where's the grace? We out.